Lesson number 9, Maths, our compact explanation. The land in our environment is not of the same height everywhere. This unevenness gives rise to various landscapes, creating different landforms such as mountains, valleys, plateaus, plains and islands. For a proper understanding of our environment, it is necessary to study the physical or natural setup of the land. The man has felt the need to make maps since ancient times. At that time, maps were mainly used in wars. While fighting a battle, it is important to have detailed knowledge of the terrain. It helps in working out strategies of defeating the enemy. Taking into account of the differences in their height, shape, etc., various landforms can be shown on a map. The length and width of a landform can be easily shown on a piece of paper. However, the height and depth cannot be shown as easily. There are different methods of showing the elevation or height of the land. 1. Contour Line Method This method is used to show the unevenness of landforms on a map. The height of the land is measured from sea level. Next points of the same height are identified. Their position is marked accurately on the map. These locations are joined with a line. Such lines are called contour lines. When there is less distance between the contour lines, the slope is steep. Whereas, if the distance is great, the slope is gentle. Example 2. Layer Tinting Method This method is based on contour lines. In this method, the spaces between contour lines are filled with color. Each color indicates a specific height. Example water bodies are colored blue. The adjoining land is colored dark green and land higher than that is colored a light green. 3. Digital elevation model. This is the most modern method. In this method, the information obtained through man-made satellites is presented with the help of computers. Maps made using the above three methods help us to understand the physical setup of a region. Physical maps can be used in military operations, tourism, drawing up, mountaineering routes in making regional development plans, etc. In maps, many components are shown. In maps, standard signs and symbols are used to make the map easy to read. These symbols and signs are universally used for specific components because everyone can understand the map. The use of signs and symbols in a map helps the reader to get exact information about the places on the map. Conventional signs. Signs are used to show various things on a map as per the convention. These are in the form of letters or geometrical shapes. Example, lines, circles, triangles, dots, etc. Conventional symbols. Symbols are used to show various things on a map as per convention. Symbols are miniature drawings of the respective objects. Example, temples, mosques, forts, etc.